Welcome to our Get to the Ball video series. And I'm Coach McCoy. I am your strategic movement coach. Every week, we're going to come at you with a movement munchie, with a strategic snack, something, at least one thing, to improve your tennis game. So today, we're going to talk about pain. Most of us have experienced pain, whether it's been elbow pain, shoulder pain, hip, ankle pain. Ultimately, pain is a problem. So I've got five recommendations for you if you are currently dealing with pain. The objective is pain freedom. So number one, let's work with your medical team to make sure you're not guessing. Work with your medical team because if you don't know exactly what the issue is, you may not find a solution for it. So work with your medical team. My second recommendation, let's incorporate rest and recovery. Rest and recovery, it's your friend when you're talking about pain, especially the overuse injuries. When we're hitting the ball over and over and over and over, that is a repetitive movement and that certainly could wreak havoc on soft tissue, everything from tendons and ligaments and the muscles. So we want to make sure that you are resting and recovering if you do have pain. Recommendation number three kind of goes along with number two. Make sure you're managing the volume of training. And in this case, gameplay, the amount that you are playing tennis. So that is not only the frequency, but the duration, right? So to give you a perfect example, not only do I play tennis, but I also play basketball. So when I was 20, I could play basketball five or six times a week, two, three, four hours at a shot, no problem. Heck, I didn't even need to warm up, right? Of 20, peak physiological condition. But now at 50, I need to be a much smarter as it relates to the volume of basketball that I play. So. I generally am good with one to two times per week now at about an hour a clip. So you can see it's a much different amount. The volume is much different and my body, I'm just working with my body because it definitely needs more recovery. So my fourth recommendation would be to work with a sport time tennis coach to make sure that your strokes are smooth, biomechanically friendly. Um, you know, when you are trying different serves and, you know, different hand grips, there could be stress and strain. So let's not guess, let's work with a uh, tennis pro to make sure that your strokes are good for you, that you can maintain them and you're not going to put yourself in harm's way. Recommendation number five is to add strategic movement that gets at the core issue. So when you talk about pain, we not only want to get out of pain, but we really want to stay pain free. And that's where strategic movement is very helpful. That injury resiliency is going to keep you on the court. So we want to make sure we're adding in strategic movement. Strategic movement is not a body beat down. It's not just, you know, crushing you. It's not a workout of the day. Strategic movement is personalized to you. It is body friendly and is science-based. So we really want to make sure that your body is operating optimally. And we're going to get into the starting line of strategic movement next week. We're going to get you guys ready to rock and roll. We're going to help you identify exactly what you need to do. So join me for my next video session as we'll start to kind of start you on your journey of strategic movement. So that's a wrap for today, talking about pain, the five recommendations that I would provide for you to get you pain free. And guys, remember one of the most important ways to improve your tennis game is to get to the ball.